it is, I think, like 6.30. Yep, happened there for It brings back the, the uh, flashbacks of when I had to go to work at 5.30 when I worked in dialysis. Yep. Mm. Jeez. I thought we was going to get gas. Not here. Not there. Oh, Brooklyn. Yeah, we are, I still can't believe I'm going, but I'm going, cause he's going. I ain't gonna tell you where it is yet. Not yet. <laughs> cause I, if I back out, then I don't want to be embarrassed. <laughs> I don't see the difference. <laughs> if you back out, you're gonna get ridiculed. Yeah, like that's, that's true. That's true. Speak now, forever hold your peace. If you don't want to go, let me know the right this. <laughs> oh my goodness. We got the uh, trailer on the back of the truck, on the back of my my car, because Cindy, cousin Cindy, got new chairs for her living room. Oh man, they are fine. They are so pretty. And I'm getting her old ones. I'm so excited about them. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I am. I am. Um, now, her husband's chair is a little cattywop. And, uh, cattywop. So, it might not work. That's a Vicky word. Cattywop? That's not That's not a made-up word. It, it means, is. <laughs> that means, like, crooked, don't it mean? Like, it means crooked, but it's not a real word. Well, anyway. Um, one of them is really good. That's the one Cousin Cindy said in. And then the other one's cattywop because that's one of her, her husband said in and they're blue which is my favorite color but anyway so we're going down the highway with the trailer on the back now what we're going to do is we're going to go to their house get in their uh, vehicle and go to this thing we're going to go to and yep. then and then on the way back we'll be at their house We'll load up my chairs, new to me chairs, and then we'll come back home. And I am hoping, I am hoping that I can convince my children to do a live stream today. I'm hoping. I don't know what time we'll be back. Oh, we'll be back in plenty of time. I have no idea. Yeah. And, and don't worry about us missing, missing church because our church is records online. it's online it streams you can watch our church on on uh, youtube as well i'll yeah. try to drop a link in there but we can watch our church when we get home so or you know tomorrow if, if we need to watch it tomorrow but anyway i'm nervous why i just i just am nervous you know i don't know if it's because it's my personality or if it's things I know or movies I've seen or scenarios I've written in my head. No movies I've written most of the time. Well no, but they could be. <laughs> they could be real. This could be real. But we got forty one miles till empty, so we're gonna have to stop up here and get some gas. And I'll let y'all know how we're going. I forgot to mention that I have been fretting over these watch hours because we just cannot get the watch hour numbers up. And we have like 5,000 and something, almost 6,000 subscribers. So I just was like, all right, it is what it is. And then night before last, we got like 260 watch hours. And then last night we got like 200 and something watch hours. So it has actually bumped it up over the 2,000 mark, <laughs> finally. I don't understand how that works. I don't understand how that works either. But it is, like you said, it is what it is. It is what it is. But it's so, based on somebody watches the whole video. I don't know. Uh, it's got to be because that many people be just click one time would be an hour. Well, I guess it's not what we consider an hour. I don't know. I don't know. Needless to say, we are over the 2,000 mark. Finally. <laughs> I just, 
we got like 300 and something more, I think, to go before we get to the 3,000 mark. I remember that correctly. Yeah, but anyway. I don't know about that one. You didn't do math. Yeah. I know where I'm going. I know you know where we're going, but can we not come in on two wheels? See what I gotta live with. See what I gotta live with. Mario Andretti's what you usually say. Yeah, exactly. I couldn't think of the name of the person. Anyway, so we are so thankful, so thankful we finally got over the 2,000 mark. Yeah. I mean, seriously, I was thinking. I, I really don't know what I was thinking. I was thinking I had done pressed a button wrong or something. to be monetized you gotta be four four thousand so, I don't know maybe maybe help us by build the, the camp back. yeah help us actually help us get the watch hours and then we can help us build the camp back. <laughs> yeah, I don't know I, do, I just I don't understand I guess we're more boring than we think <laughs> I don't know if we're boring we're not interesting we may folks. not be interesting but we're not boring I can find an alligator, you go jump on it. That's what I told her a long time ago. I guess I want to jump on an alligator. Jump on an alligator. Or jump I out of a plane before, or something. That was many, many moons ago. Marine biologist. Marine biologist. 
he, uh, one of the other stories when me and Dad was going fishing one day and Mike scuba dive. And I mean, this is way back, you know, in the early 70s, maybe middle 70s. He had the little flag, it was a red and white flag, you know. And his boat was tied up to the Highway 90 bridge there in Basin and Lewis. And he was diving under the he did it all the time. And when you come back in that evening, it's still there. Oh, okay. So when we pulled up, his grandpa was at my, my dad's house. He said, Have y'all seen Mike? I said, Have you seen his boat? I can't find him. I said, Mike, well, I know where his boat is. So we went and looked. Can you find Mike? We really thought the worst. He did too, his grandpa. And anyway, next morning, we was fixed to go back out and start looking for him. And a guy walked up and said, What y'all doing? And of course, we told him. He said, Well, I seen Mike yesterday evening on Ship Island with three girls. Oh, my word. In a big old boat. And they was on the beach. Oh, my word. And he just left his boat. Of course, this was the time before cell phones and all that, you know, mm -hmm. so, uh, <laughs> his grandpa was not happy at that time. Good night. Good but night. anyway, that's an old story. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'm going to give y'all a little, well, I can't reach it. Have it in my hat. This is kind of a clue. Oh, he's giving clues. Don't give it away. Oh, uh, we know who gives us away. <laughs> anyway. There's clue one. <laughs> Where are we going? All right. See ya. We up before the fog. <laughs> Happens every morning, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful house there, too. Mississippi is pretty. It really is. Look at that fog. South Mississippi. Y'all um, come. This is the few months of revenge we get for the summer we have to go through. Not revenge, wow. relief. Y'all see that fog? She don't get to see this a lot. Oh, hush. Plus, it don't happen all the Look at that. Can y'all see that at all? Wow. They did cut that timber, didn't they? I don't know if you can see it, but that fog is high. How tall do you think that fog is? 15, 20 foot. 15, 20 foot? run. I got my work done. Now we're headed to the job site. Yep. Now let me tell you, we were worn slam out last night when we got back from our secret trip. <laughs> let me tell you. 
There was four of us that went. It was um, me, Chris, Cindy, and BC, her husband. And you know, Cindy's she's still down, down in her back. My knee flared up, and my hair. Bonnie's shoulder was hurting. Bonnie, his shoulder was hurting. Uh, and I looked back and you was stooped over too. What was wrong with you? Stooped over. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. I'm hanging on, I reckon. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so, Cindy and I had to get out of the truck, because BC has a big old truck. And to get out of the truck, we had a stool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And BC had to help Cindy out. Chris had to help me out with that stool. We put it on one side, and one would get out. Put it on the other side, and the other one would get out. And <laughs> we we asked the, the parking attendants, "Look, is there any way we can get real close? Because you know Cindy is down in her back." And um, and that man said, "I'll just put you in the handicap parking." And, and we were very thankful for that. Yeah. Um, in fact, BC, he can have a handicap parking. He just hadn't gotten it. He's just been, what, 30 years since his accident. And he gets around about as good as he can. He gets around better than all of us. Well, I don't know. He gets around good. Yeah. But anyway, so needless to say, we got to park in the handicap section, and we were so thankful. I look back. Man, it's still got that hair. I look back. And Cindy and I were walking hunched over and dragging the leg and and BC was he was he looking a little hunched over and I looked back and Chris was Chris was hunched over and I, I was hunched over. You were. Uh, maybe it was your knee or something, but something was something was caused you to look like we were we were all crippled trying to go to this. <laughs> well, I was stiff. This. I put it that maybe, way. Maybe right. you were stiff, but you looked you looked you know, like you belonged in the handicap section as well. All of us well, did. Well, I'm old enough to probably get one for free. All of us did. <laughs> so, needless to say, we made it. And what it was, was the Angola State Prison Rodeo. Yeah, it was. You guys, it's nuts. <laughs> Some of them. I'm not, I'm not being ugly. I'm just saying they, that, they do things I wouldn't do. They were some tough rodeo folks. Oh, yeah. what is that in the road? I don't know, but I don't know. About Balloons. So, needless to say, that was fascinating. Now, whoever, whoever they gave the yardstick to to measure the seat <laughs> to measure the seats and number those bleachers was an idiot <laughs> he was thin <laughs> he must have been thin and he must have been that yardstick must have been the, the size of a child's behind because we were packed in there I mean I I think I shared my sweat with Cindy, and I know I shared my sweat with him. And you probably shared sweat to the lady next to you. I tried not to. Because <laughs> we were, I mean, packed. It was hot. And, and it was hot. Lord Jesus, it was hot. It wasn't too bad for me because I work in it. Well, all you work in it. But the I rest of us, I literally sweat I could feel it going down my back and what didn't what didn't rest on the the knees behind me made it down to my behind and my pants was wet it was just it was miserable hot yep. and we were under the shade the the little metal the roof the, yeah the canopy literally the seat in front of us was still in the shade but the seat in front of them was in the sun and the rest of the way down was in the sun so for that I was thankful so I, I was thankful for the fact that we got to park in the handicap um, section because because Cindy could hardly walk with her back if she was down with it and then I was thankful that our 
car seats. Little as I, I bet you all four of our seats made the width of this bench right here. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. And so I was thankful for that. Now we walked around and we saw all the uh, crafts and stuff that the, um, I guess you would call them prisoners. Is that the proper term? I don't know. I don't want to be the sued. Inmates. The inmates. Okay. The inmates. The inmates would make crafts and belts and chairs and tables and belts. Um, wallets and belts and belts. purses. Purses. And they had little booths. Um, now we didn't buy anything. I, I didn't. I didn't. I wanted to buy something. I just I just didn't see anything that I needed to bring home with me. Because we bought a belt for you the last time we went to the Amish country. And, and I didn't need a purse. I don't, I'm not one of these people that splurge on purses and stuff. Uh, you got a suitcase down there. I do have a big purse. And I have, I have actually three purses. And that's it. That's all I need. I can only wear one at a time. It was it was fascinating. They they had a little um, one of the rodeo activities was events was they set four inmates down at a card table and you get the last person sitting at the card table was the winner. So they got situated and they draw names as to who was gonna be backside was going to be where the bull enters the stadium. So if you were the unlucky draw, you know, you never, you didn't know when you were about to get hit by the bull, which is probably a good thing because you didn't run. You didn't, because you didn't know it was coming. So they released the bull and that bull went straight to that card table and splintered, it. splintered that card table. <laughs> But there was a, uh, the, the little dude had his back to him. I think he won, didn't he? Yep. But that, that bull, that bull got him. And let's see. Then they had the bull ring, the rope they made there. Oh, yeah. Was, yeah, there was a rope. that. There was about 20 of them in there. I don't one. remember how many was in there. Bunch, yeah. But anyway, all the inmates would stay inside that ring of rope. And then they released the bull, and the last one in there was the winner. Yeah, and it's not a uh, <laughs> mandatory prison sentence. It's, it's voluntary. That's how they can make what little money they can pay. Yeah. Only time, one, one time a year. Yeah. I know the, the very end is when they, they, they let the bull out and had the poker chip or something tied on his horn. Something uh, tied on the horn. And I'm talking about it had some huge horns. Wow. And the winner of that one, which was like probably the most dangerous one, was $1,500. $1,500, yeah. That's, I mean, I'm not scared of any cowboy, horse, or anything. I don't really like pigs, but I'm not scared of them. I just don't like them. But uh, there's no way. I mean, if I was in prison, I probably would. But uh, fifteen hundred dollars—that big old horn thing running at you, trying to take the poker chip off his horn—is a little scary. It's not a lot of money. Two of two of them left out of there on, on, on stretchers. stretchers. Yeah. yeah, on stretchers. But what is it? You didn't see that camper? Right? That double-decker camper. Double I saw that. I saw. We don't need that. No, we don't. But anyway, it was fun. It's something that I I wanted to go to. I've been yeah. to a thousand rodeos, yeah. but I've never been to that one. That was definitely a thing for him. Now, I sat there for an hour in that, I don't know, you can't call it a seat, in my assigned space. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't very big seat. It wasn't very big seat, and the space between your back, your back end, and your knees was. I mean, everybody had to sit sideways. Yeah. But needless to say, I sat there an hour, and I, 
that time I was coming back. But once I got in that little breezeway where you enter, it was so cool in that breezeway. I said, mm, that's where I'm sitting. And there was, and there was a, there was a, um, I guess you'd call it like it's landscape coming out of the landscape blocks. Yes, coming out of the breezeway. And there was some Trust them somewhat. 
went last year and they told us about the tickets were just twenty dollars. You paid twenty dollars for a ticket. We bought them way back and I think it was like a two dollar and fifty cent ticket fee or something like that. Tax or something. I don't know. But, yeah, it was We've been there and done it, so I we've don't been know. there and done that. <laughs> Took a long time. 
some of the traffic up going this way and some going to the other side. And we went to the other side, which was perfect. We went right to the handicap parking. But the amount of cars in there and trying to get out of that place took forever. I mean, really. Thank goodness we was cool inside the car. Imagine back in the olden days when you didn't have air conditioning, you had to walk and have buggies and wagons and stuff. wasn't covered up by that roof I'd have, I'd have stayed about 30 minutes <laughs> literally it the wasn't sweat, that bad to me but the sweat was rolling down me my hair was it looked like I was out there doing the bull riding myself <laughs> my hair was that wet and my hair started out let me tell you and I say, I'm go I say I'm never going to do this again when it happens. And every time it happens, I say it. I said, I can't believe you did that, Vicki. I fell asleep with my hair wet. So when I woke up that next, yesterday morning, my hair, I don't know what happened. It, it had a mind of its own. I have a picture. I'll, I'll post this picture. But where was I going? Oh, I tried straightening it, and I was like, oh my gosh, it's not working, it's not working, what am I going to do? I thought I was going to wash my hair again. And, you know why my straightener wasn't working on my hair? I forgot to plug it in. I did. I don't function that early in the morning. All right, people, get on over. Stop. Well, we gotta stop. 
that lot right there. Oh. Well, that's, that's about it. That was our, that was our secret trip. And we went to 